Hey everybody, how are y'all doing today? Uh, my name is Patrick. Uh, today we're going to be going through the 3.js libraries, getting the WAMP server set up so that we can operate with them. Um, eventually, as we progress through this, let's call it a course, uh, we will be going through all the different aspects of 3.js, looking how we can integrate Blender into our workflow and make really crazy websites and things like that. All right, so uh, getting started, I'm going to come over here, open up Firefox, and you'll see I already have the WAMP server website set up. Um, this is what we're going to need. We're going to need actually to be running a server in order to access some of the um, elements of the library. You don't always need this on the HTML documents, but it just happens that some of the uh, JavaScript is written server side, so we're going to need this uh, to use it. So let's go ahead, download it, uh, go through all this nonsense, blah, 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 blah. Download directly. And now we're just going to have to wait patiently for this to download. And voila. All right, now let's go on, hop over while that's downloading to the 3.js. Um, you can actually go to the GitHub, and I'm not going to uh, elaborate on how... Uh, GitHub works, uh, that there's other tutorials on that, uh, but you can actually get the documentation directly from there. Um, we're going to be grabbing it just right off the 3.js website. Uh, there's also a bunch of examples here that you can take a look at um, if you're curious as to what the capabilities of 3.js are, which is basically OpenGL um, light for, for the web. Um, it will give you some um, uh, some access to the video card, so it is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and download that. All right, and we will save that. And then let's go ahead, let's open up the WAMP server. And we're going to install this. Accept the agreement. And I'm going to put mine on the D drive. Click OK on that. All right. All right. So uh, while that's installing, um, so 3.js essentially is a uh, is is based on WebGL um, that was uh, created um, and started by this guy, Mr. Dube. Um, I can't remember his real name off the top of my head. Um, however, um, it's really powerful. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. However. Um, documentation is fairly weak so ideally I'd like to start going through all of this stuff one by one so we can analyze and see how everything's done and hopefully at the end of the day uh, people can kind of create their own workflows so let's just go ahead and hit next on all this and we will launch this server right now and ideally that goes from red to green and that means we're good to go on it so let's take a look at that real quick all right, yeah. All right, so that's up and running. All right, so next, let's do the server. We're going to extract this. Let's just go pull that directly. Copy. We will pull it right over into our WAMP directory. We'll put it in the www.folder. So that's, in my case, that was D drive WAMP um, www. And then I'll pull it directly in there, and we'll just paste that folder right in there. And give it a couple seconds while it moves over. It's kind of a big file, so give it a few seconds. All right, you'll see that that the name is the uh, developer slash the name of the project three js, and then the build number on that. Um, it's a kind of a handful sometimes to remember all that, so I might rename it. You'll see I, I've done that in the past, um, but for now we'll just keep it as is. Hop into that folder. We're gonna go into the examples folder. And we're gonna just grab this URL real quick right off the top, or file structure, not URL. Copy that. And let's go paste that on the end of here. And we're going to have to adjust these backslashes real quick. 
change them to forward slashes. And voila, you'll see we have the 3.js up and running now. You can go through all these individually and take a look at it. All right, well, that's it for getting everything started. Uh, next thing we'll be looking at is starting up our own individual system.